What's up, YouTube? Chris with Murphy Firearms Training. Got a ballistics test today, the SP-101 357 Magnum 2.25 inch barrel. And today we're gonna be shooting double tap ammunition. This is double tap 38 plus P. It is a 125 grain bonded defense. It is rated on the box at 1,175 feet per second out of a four inch barrel. We're gonna be shooting it out of a 2.25 inch barrel. So we expect less, how much less? We're going to go to the chronograph and find out. Here's a look at your hollow point. Uh, it is a gnarly looking hollow point. I really like the look of this hollow point. Um, I don't know. It just looks pretty vicious to me. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it works. 38 special. Uh, it is bonded, so I do expect some good deep penetration. Let's see what the velocity is out of the short barrel and how well it does. Let's see what we get for velocities. 931. 918, 927, 943, and errors. Let's see if we can get something out of this error here. 888, and error 3 again, so... There we go, five shots. So here's the mess I find. And let's step up and take a look. First hit is here, pretty good. Blew the cap off and exit wound is there. And no, that's just water. Sounded like something rattling around in the jug there. Just water. Second jug is here. Hit is there. Split open pretty good. Exit is there. Uh, empty. No jacket, no nothing. Let's see. Third hit is here. Interesting. Third hit is here. And exit is here. And here's what I see, folks. I see a lot of leaking jugs. So that's the third jug. Empty. Fourth jug. Hit. And exit. Looks like it's curving. Four jugs. Fifth jug is hit. I'm going to assume it has an exit because uh, the next jug is leaking. Next jug. Hit. And exit. Wow, we exit is there. Next jug hit is there. I gotta climb up on my table. Oh, too old for this. And it looks like perhaps no exit. There's a, a bump here in the bottom, but I think this one has our projectile. Let's open it up. And there she is sitting down in there. So let's see what we got. 38 special plus P. Whole lot of water jugs. A whole lot of water jugs. And we've got disappointment. Absolute disappointment. Had high hopes for that hollow point. No expansion. Good deep penetration. No expansion. So, um, And it looks like it just kind of started to try to expand. But I'm going to be honest with you folks. Bare water is about as easy a media as you can get to expand in. So that's why I use it. And if you can't expand in bare water... You really ain't going to expand anything. So if you carry a snub nose, this is probably not the right ammo for you, but you be the judge. Some folks want deep penetration. There you go. You got deep penetration out of this one for sure. Penetrated seven jugs of water. Seven jugs of water. Made a little dent in the back of the seventh one. So seven full jugs, I would say. If you're looking for deep penetration, this will do it. Let's hit the hard barrier test with it and see what it does. Reminder, folks, these are one-inch thick treated pine decking boards. Here we go. First board hit is here. In and out. Second board hit is here. In and out. Third board hit is here. In and out. 
fourth board uh, looks like it hit and bounced off. So the hit is right there with an old hit bounced off. So let's go fishing and see if we can find a hollow point. Found it, folks. Laying over by, laying on the ground about five feet from the test rig. There is the pine board test hollow point, and there is the water jug test hollow point. And it actually tried to open more in the pine board test than it did in the water jugs, which is just baffling to me. Um, and after going through seven, seven water jugs, it only went through three pine boards and made a dent in the fourth. So, um, really deep penetration in soft tissue. Eh, average to a little better than average in hard barrier. There you go, folks. That is it. Hope you enjoy it. If you like this kind of test, like and subscribe. Let us know what you want to see. We appreciate the support.